All right, Salawam, Salawam. This is your brother, Rayyad, from the Cleveland branch, GMS. Coming back at you with another quick hit through the power and spirit of the Most High and His Son, who this present evil world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. But in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew, the only true language you can call on the Father and the Son on their true names. Yahweh, meaning He exists, and Yahweh Shah, meaning He Savior, or He Deliver, because He come to save and deliver the nation of Israel. Now, the nation of Israel consists of you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Native and similar Indians on your father's side because according to the book of Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18 the man carries the seed so the man dictates what race and they got the X and the Y so they dictate the female or rather it's going to be a male so before I get to this quick lesson I'd like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakal Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. Peace, love, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect Akim that scattered abroad the four corners of the earth. To the few sisters that listen and learn, to y'all I say Shalom. Now, this is the book of 2 Corinthians. Chapter 4, and I'm going to start at uh, 16. It says, For which cause we faint not. To faint is to get weak, man. To give up, man. We don't get weak and we don't give up on the name Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, and the blessings and the things that He taught us. We get stronger, man. We get stronger and stronger as every day that go by. We learn more about ourselves. We learn more about the spirit, studying and reading, and we don't faint, man. It says, but though our outward man perish, because you got to let the outward man go, man. The outward man is filthy. The outward man been outside all day planting dirt. The outward man been at work seven days without taking the bath, man. He's filthy. Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Because you got to put off the old man and put on that new man, man. Put on righteousness. Put on as the elect, man. Change our ways. We was all going one way at first, but guess what? You got to stop and completely turn around. Do a 180. Not a 360, because if you do a 360, you right back to where you started. Man, you got to do a 180. It says, for our light affliction... Because the things that we go through, man, it don't compare, man. It can't compare to the things that we go get in the kingdom, man. Even wicked niggas, man. It says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. And it might seem like it's long to us, but a thousand days, man, uh, the most I works on totally different time than us. One day to the most high is the thousand of our years. <laughs> so think about that. It says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceedingly and eternal weight of glory. Because the things that you go through makes you who you are. How could be how could we be righteous rulers and righteous judges if we don't understand judgment? How could you show 
someone mercy if someone never showed you no mercy. It says, while we look not at the things which are seen, that's everything, man. You see everything that's right in front of you. You feel me? Our people want that instant gratification, man. That now, now, now spirit. So they looking at the things which are seen. But the things which are not seen. You can't see the kingdom. You can't see the... Well, we got that vision, so we see it. But, I mean, actually physically seeing it, though, you know? That's where that faith kick in at. Because... I'm stirring up for things in heaven, man. Treasures in heaven. I can't see them, but I'm putting my faith that the works and the faith that I do and the mercy and begging for mercy, man. So it says, <clears throat> while we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen. The things that are seen are temporal, temporary. Not gonna be here forever. <laughs> Ain't no eternal life in something that's temporal, temporary. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Forever. Like the kingdom. Like the Lord's people. Because they go hand in hand. The kingdom, and then you got the people of the kingdom. Let's see, Daniel. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 2, and verse 44. It says, And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven, the only one true power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, that made heavens and earth. It says, set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall never be left to other people. Because it's going to be left to the Israelites, man. The sons of God. Yasharala. He, Prince Power. Sons of God. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. So the kingdom of heaven is, is going to be here forever. And it ain't going to never be left to, to other people. Never ever. Let me see. This Daniel chapter 7 verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion. Dominion is like rulership. So the rulership and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven. So it's going to be here on earth. The kingdom of heaven is going to be here on earth. But the Israelites shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. The saints of the Most High. Who the saints? Go to Psalms 148 and 14. Go to Psalms 50 and 5. The sons the saints is the Israelites. So shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. Shall be given to the Israelites. Whose kingdom is the everlasting kingdom. Because we just read it's going to stand forever. And it's going to be given to the Israelites. And all dominions shall serve and obey him. Simple as that. We're going to be the top dogs, man. The top dog that rule in righteousness. And everybody going to be happy. Even our slaves is going to be happy, man. Yeah, it's going to be hardcore slavery for a thousand years, but that's just to get them in line and get them in order, man. Teach them our ways. Teach them our laws. But after that, I mean, hey, everybody going to be cool except for Edom. Esau, Edom, because they get totally eradicated off the face of the earth. 
Thus said the Lord, thus said the Holy Bible. Read the book of Obadiah, man. <laughs> so that was just something quick through the spirit, man. Oh, it was edifying through the power and spirit. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Shalom.